Hey, what's up you sexy people, Totally Dubbed here, and today I'm going to do another setup tour. It's an updated setup tour on my 2014 setup tour. Uh, my old setup tour got loads of views, 2,800 views, and I was like, what? People are actually watching this. I'm like, okay, I'm going to make another one because I've updated my setup. And I thought, why not update the people as well? Clearly someone's watching, so why not? It doesn't take much of my time. So let's get on with this uh, sexy setup tour. I know, it's pretty sexy, right? Anyway, so my PC, it's an i7-3770K that's been deleted at 4.5 gigahertz. Uh, it runs with an Antec uh, 920 cooler on it, which is using push-pull, and the air is going outside. Uh, before it was coming inside, now it's going out, um, simply because that's what she said. No, because I've got SLI 680s now in there. I used to have only one 680 that, and that was pretty good, but I've updated my monitor from resolution 1080p to 1440p, more on that in just a little bit, and therefore I went SLI 680s, and I've got to say they're magnificent. I've got MSI uh, GTX 680 and a KFA GTX um, EXOC in there, and they, they run really good. The motherboard is Asus Noobtooth Z77, that's what I call it, and it's a fractal R4, um, R4, R4 case. My monitor, so I just mon mentioned that, mentioned that, mentioned that, much, much, much. It is a Kunix QX2710 1440p uh, PLS panel. Now, PLS is just like IPS, it's just Samsung's equivalent of it. So, yes, it's a Samsung panel. And you might be thinking, okay, but that was probably expensive, right? Nope, because these are kind of rejected monitors by Samsung, which go to Kunix and Kunix repackages them and sells them. Often they come with defective. Um, um, uh, pixels. Why, why can I not remember pixels? They, they have defective pixels or they have backlight bleeding or something's wrong with them somewhere. Uh, but my monitor was an ultimate perfect pixel. I bought it for £233 uh, including customs um, from uh, st store with story? No, toy. I'll link it down in the description. And uh, it's a lovely monitor. Overclocks at 96Hz as well. It can do 110Hz but 96Hz is the sweet spot for me. And it's absolutely lovely. I can't stress it enough. It's a 27-inch monitor as well because you won't be able to tell the size. Uh, but um, as women like it, the, the bigger the better. And I definitely agree with monitors. Bigger is better. To an extent. You don't want too big or else it's going to hurt your eyes. I see what you did there. Anyway, uh, my uh, my keyboard is a Logitech um, G710 Plus uh, brown switch keyboard. It's a beautiful keyboard and I love it. And now it's even more sexy because it is gay. Yes, but its owner isn't, and therefore uh, we always have um, clicking arguments um, between each other. God, I'm horrible at this, but anyway, I got these little key covers that go over these white LEDs, uh, which are placed behind because it's a backlit uh, keyboard with on only white, and therefore you have key covers that have just different colors on them, and you can position them the way you want, and I did it like in a rainbow um, sort of gradient way and it looks absolutely lovely. I've also got some keycaps over here which just remind me of Lego and they look kind of different. I've also got some extra keycaps which I stuck on my desk because why the hell not and so there we go. Um, apart from that I've got a Anchor 8200 DPI mouse. I used to have the 8000 DPI mouse but um, something happened with the middle click and uh, contact Anchor and they're absolutely brilliant. They sent me 8200 DPI mouse which is the updated version. It has black on the side because you know when you go black you never go back and um, and it's got color over here which um, adjusts with this color which is over here which is lovely. I I've got to say lovely mouse, best mouse I've ever owned best mouse you should you should get it whatever you media you, you gaming doesn't matter get it because I do media and gaming and I love it it's so good anyway uh, more orgasm on that later uh, so the my headphones that I've got are for listening uh, for listening to music obviously they're listening but listening to music and uh, then an AHD 2000s they've got D5000 cups and uh, they've been dampened I've got Lawton audio mods and it's been recabled with D7000 cable which has been reterminated by 3.5 millimeter jack I did all the mods myself yes indeed very impressive very cool the amplifier that I've got over here is a Denon AVR X500 it's connected connected via um, optical to my PC and it is a lovely amplifier and receiver. Really, I can't recommend it enough. I'm a noob at uh, amplifiers and receivers, but this one just hits the nail on the head for me. Speakers-wise, I'm on a 5.1 setup. I've got five speakers. Um, I've got um, 
the F35C center speaker by Celestian and I've got the Celestian 3 uh, bookshelf speakers there's one two three four so I've got a nice 5.1 setup and my subwoofer is a Teufel subwoofer subwoofer yeah I was almost doing a woofer there but yeah it's absolutely lovely as well and it's brilliant sound a uh, bit bassy but I love that so really cool um, overlooking while I'm typing and doing whatever I'm doing on my on my PC um, I have my little chimp my little Yoda I've got a lot of my little Android man and I've got my little two little fluffy guys over here and I've even got a Warhammer over here yes I painted that and made that when I was younger and I've got loads more Warhammers over here which are completely misaligned uh, but I'll get to that in a, in a little bit um, so yeah anyway guys I think that pretty much covers everything uh, apart from one uh, two other things one two three four uh, so that's the desk the desk is the IKEA Friday desk it's a lovely desk I've got to say cup holders are really good because I can put women in it and I can adjust their cup size and um, you got foot holders over here so you can kick back or you can put your PC on it but for me my PC is such a beast <laughs> course so it doesn't even fit on there uh, so I put my feet instead because they're uh, relatively small <laughs> oh what they say with small feet no uh, I've got actually quite big feet uh, I'm trying to pull this back I'm just digging a hole digging a hole no but um, yeah it's really comfortable for for a foot rest and I, I kind of chill back lay back on my on my um, my chair and my chair is a top star uh, chair it is really good and it's really good for keeping good posture I can't stress that enough keeping good posture and set it standing up straight is very important I've got scoliosis on my back which means my back is a little bit bent um, like my keyboard <laughs> uh, but um, yeah so it, posture is really important I'm trying to improve my posture I've even been, even been working out and it's actually been helping quite a lot with my posture and uh, my general bones and my muscles around my bones so it's always helpful in fact I have to work out of this video because I haven't worked out for quite a while uh, due to being busy I know excuses excuses do you even lift bro <laughs> anyway guys hope you, you enjoyed this video if you like this video make sure you like it if you if you haven't subscribed why the hell haven't you subscribed go subscribe if you subscribe I love you you know you know that I love you and uh, make sure you comment below um, to see um, how much porn you watch right take care guys bye bye